Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the trigger types in the differ block. So normal we differ we have seen and also the different types of blocks also we have seen like placeholder, loading, error, differ and all those things we have seen it. Now in the differ we will be having the trigger types also. So when we need to trigger this differ also we will be writing to it. Normally the default one is the ideal case. So that means when the browser is ideal it will try to load the differ thing. Normally we can also uh, use some special situations in a such a way that when we need to load the differ concept, differ block. So let's try to understand one by one. Before entering into this one let's try to understand uh, clearly what is a differ so previously normally the differ block what it will try to do it allows you to load and display content lazily in the angular so normally when you are trying to load that means all the components present in the tab will be, everything will be loaded on the page itself but if you want some components which are not available should be available immediately should be loaded lazily means then we will be using the differ block for those type of components while waiting for the content to load a placeholder can be displayed so now you are not able to see that component in that one. So now you can show some placeholder something like loading please wait or getting the component, getting the component details. Like that it's, you can show a placeholder also. So what is the benefit of this one is this improves the app performance and user experience by delaying the heavy content rendering until specific conditions are met. And also the initial bundle size also will be decreased by using this differ block for heavy rendering content for these components. The differ block is triggered by conditions specified in two ways. So one is on specifies conditions like ideal viewport interaction etc which determines when the block is loaded and also we can have an another one is when also the trigger types a custom conditional expression that determines when to load the block so these two ways which we can determine when to load this uh, differ, differ block when to trigger this differ block we can do it first we'll try to see the on situation on scenarios what what else we can do it so the key fee triggers for the difference first one is the ideal trigger so this is the common thing which you can able to see so it will load the content when the browser is ideal using the request callback ideal callback api so the using the request ideal callback api it will try to load the uh, differ block when it is ideal so this is the default case if you don't mention it also it's okay fine but if you want to mention it means so here you need to use on ideal so that means when the browser has a spare time or when the browser is ideal means then it will try to load the differ block until and unless the browser is busy in rendering other initial components means it will, it will not load the differ block. So until then the placeholder will be displayed. So if you try to see here the output for this one. So if I refresh this page immediately the loading symbol is coming that is nothing but the differ block and immediately the large component is loaded. So this is one first case which you can do it. And another case is the viewport. Okay. So we can also use the viewport okay viewport so this is another thing which is a viewport which we will be able to see so loads the content when the placeholder or another specified element enters into the viewport so what is the concept for this one so if i try to refresh this page you find right now it is already in the viewport you are able to see it for example let's say that uh, in our large component at html file this is our large component at html file and in this ts i am using the ng on ng on in it and uh, for this one in our style.scss file css file so we are having width 100 pixel 300 pixel for the class a so automatically for this one i will apply this class a okay and now if you try to see here so this one will have the like this okay so now i will add the same components multiple times so here this div block uh, i will add it multiple times so two three four so whenever this uh, large component component is loaded in ng on init you will be able to see uh, that uh, Low large component has been loaded. So according to this one, normally four times it needs to load the component. Four times ng on it needs to come. So if you try to see here, only the one large component has been loaded. So that means the down which are having, which we are having two com four components, three components, remaining three components are not loaded. So when it enters into the viewport, so when you scroll down, see this one has entered into the viewport and immediately the large component has been loaded. And if you come down, see here another large component has been loaded. If you come here, see the another one also has been loaded. So like this, you will be able to see the viewport view whenever the component enters into the viewport, the differ block will load it. So this is one scenario which you can able to use it on viewport. So the, the example which we have used it watches the placeholder visibility in the viewport and whenever whenever uh, the visibility port comes, it will try to load it. So not only this one, you can also have a, some trigger element, something like uh, I will not show the output example for this one. So you let's say that you are having a div and here for this one you are having a trigger element let's say zoom okay whenever this div comes into this whenever this div comes into the viewport i need to load this different component so then what you can do so here this component directly you can use it 
and here you can use in this one directly like this so that means whenever the trigger element comes uh, this one is visible on the viewport then it will load it so that is the main thing so this is also one case which you can able to understand so these are the two scenarios where the viewport uh, trigger will work and another one is the interaction trigger so load component whenever so i will try to remove this one all so i will keep it only one uh, day for only yeah here this is our one thing and loads component when the user interacts so here you can use differ on interaction on interaction so this one means when the user interacts with this placeholder or anything means then only it will be loaded if you try to see here so now this time this is loading please wait is there when i click on this loading please wait then the large component loaded so whenever the user interacts then only it will be loaded so that is one thing and another one is on hover so on hover is also very simple you can able to understand very easily on hover okay when you are trying to see on hover so whenever you hover on the differ block automatically that will be loaded so let's try to see it so here when i hover here automatically it got loaded so that is one thing and the another one is immediate immediate means nothing but so immediately it will be triggered so it will it will not wait for the browser idle time so it will be loaded right after other content on the page has been rendered so immediately it will try to render it so that is another concept so now another one we can which we can have it is the timer so this timer also you will be able to understand it very easily so after 2000 milliseconds it needs to be loaded means this placeholder is shown for 2 seconds before the large component is loaded so if you try to see here it will be so then afterwards it will loaded so another condition which we will be having is the when condition so here you can have a when condition that is nothing but so now here you are having a when condition and here you can use show large component okay show large component and this is a variable which you can use it in your uh, component app component.ts file and here you can make it as in false then it will not show okay large component loads only when the should uh, show show large component evaluates to true so now here if you try to see the output for this one so still it will show the loading please wait like that only but when we convert it this way variable into maybe we here we can be able to do it so here we are not able to do it or what yeah so whenever when i may try to make this one as true immediately the large component has been loaded so like this so whenever a property is there then you can able to do it so we can also add multiple concepts also prefetching data with the triggers so you can specify a prefetch condition to load the javascript associated with the differ block before the main trigger activates this reduces load time when the trigger condition is met so here what it the javascript for the large component is preloaded when the browser is idle the large component is displayed only when the user interacts with the placeholder so for example let's say that here uh, in our app.component.html here i can use the situation in such a way that on interaction only it should be loaded but the, whatever the javascript it is there for this one so it should be loaded whenever the browser is idle so that means the javascript chunk will be loaded directly but it will wait for it will wait for the uh, what i mean to say the component to be loaded so that is one thing so this is also another kind another thing so whenever on interaction only it will be loaded so this is also one thing javascript uh, the chunk file which is responsible for that one it will it will be loaded whenever the browser is an idle and uh, normally so here it will be loading and the chunk file will be loaded on each interaction uh, so something like that if i go an interaction like this then only the browser uh, then only the component will be loaded so, so this is all the different trigger types that are available in the differ block the differ block is a powerful tool in the conclusion what i want to tell you is the differ block is a powerful tool for lazy loading in the angular improving the performance by delaying the content rendering based on the user interaction viewport visibility or other conditions which we have we have seen it all the different types but by, by combining triggers with placeholders and prefetching you can create highly efficient and also the responsive applications so this is all about the differ block and we we'll, let's move back to our hydration concept so we'll explain i will be explain about the hydration incremental hydration concept so hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you